Well, hello folks, how are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual and thank you very much for popping over just to check out my latest wee recipe. So many of you were excited to see this one and I completely understand why because it's absolutely delicious, very, very easy to make. I'm going to be using the slow cooker today which <laughs> makes it super simple. It's a dump and go so everything just gets thrown in. You go, you know, go away for some hours, come back and it's done. So really easy. This is everything that I've used here but as usual all of the ingredients and their weights will be in the description box underneath the video. I'm going to be using um, Stilton in my soup today but I know a lot of folk don't like Stilton so you could have you know used something like cheddar if you prefer you know if you don't want to use the Stilton. Other than that it's just some broccoli, cream, butter, parmesan and I've got some croutons there I'm going to put on at the end. Those are completely optional and as I say I'm using the slow cooker and it is a three and a half litre crock pot and from this you'll get about five or six portions depending on obviously how big your bowls are and how greedy you are. So yeah these are the ingredients here. So you've got some spices, the cheese, the broccoli. I'm using chicken stock but you could use vegetable stock you know if you want to keep it vegetarian and some cream and again the amount of cheese cream that you use is up to you. You know there, there's no set amount but I'll show you and tell you what I've used just in case you want to follow along with me. And I'm also using three baby leeks, but you could use onion if you prefer. But a wee tip for you, if you want your soup to last a wee bit longer, don't use onions because they can make your soup go off a bit quicker. So this is my crock pot here, like I said, three and a half litre and that will give you a good few portions. So the first thing I'm going to do is tip in my chicken stock. This is 700 ml. And to that I'm going to add my cream. This is 240 ml of double cream or heavy cream if you're in the States. And then the Parmesan cheese. This is 30 grams, but feel free to add more if you like it a bit stronger. And I'm also using three baby leeks, but as I said, use onion or standard leeks if you prefer. And then the broccoli. This is just one large head of broccoli, which I've cut quite small. It just makes it cook a wee bit quicker. And then for herbs and spices, I'm just using half teaspoon of thyme, garlic powder, onion powder and mustard powder as well. But again, you can add whatever you prefer. And then I'm going to throw in some salt and also some pepper. I'm using sea salt, but again, use whatever salt you've got to hand. And also some white pepper. I prefer white pepper, but use black if you've got it. And then one to two tablespoons of butter. Again, the amount will depend on how much you want to add and how creamy you actually want this. So just give everything a good stir together. The only thing we're going to keep till later is the cheese. That just goes in, you know, as it's cooked just at the end because you don't need to cook the cheese. It's already done. So pop this onto high for two and a half hours, just until your broccoli is nice and soft. And this was me two and a half hours later. Wonderful. Now what I have to do now is give this a blend. Blend this as finely as you like. So I blended mine quite finely, but there's still quite a wee bits, you know, quite a few wee bits of broccoli still floating around in the bottom because we do still like a wee bit of texture. The last thing you want to do is pop in your cheese, whatever cheese you're using. So stir that through and pop your lid on for another five minutes just to let your cheese melt further and then you can serve. And this was mine's when it was ready. Because my cheese was in quite a large chunks, you know, it's not fully melted. So you are going to get a nice wee bit of cheese floating about in your bowl. But if you're using grated cheddar or something like that, you will find it'll completely melt. So we're just having some rolls with sausage at the side and a few lentil crisps and a couple of croutons on the top. So yeah, absolutely beautiful soup that. But just before I move on, a big thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the new channel members here on YouTube as well. So thanks once again, guys. It's very much appreciated. And thank you all for your continued support. As I said on the community tab the other day, and so many of you read it and commented on it, which I was super chuffed about. So do let me know if you're planning and giving this one a go. 
And if you're not a fan of Stilton, I would still recommend this soup because it just, you know, it just goes so well with the broccoli and it gives the soup a lovely, rich, creamy, you know, quite a strong flavour, which to me doesn't really taste like blue cheese. It's just a nice, strong flavour. But like I said, use cheddar or whatever cheese you prefer. So that was it. And I really do hope you enjoy that and give it a go for yourself. So until I see you next time, which is going to be probably another wee recipe. I've got another one up my sleeve. Just a, It's an even quicker recipe, actually. It's a wee sort of sweet one. So I'll come back to you with that during the week. And then I'll be back on Sunday for Meals of the Week. So whenever I see you again, mind to take care of yourselves. And I'll see you off a soon back here on What's For Tea. So take care and bye now. Bye.